So this device uses different technologies. So it's a multidisciplinary project. A lot of technologies have come together to make these devices, including sensors, wireless communication, artificial intelligence, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. These are all combined to make this device. Well, it has four different types of sensors, the depth sensors, heartbeat, oxygen levels, and the accelerometer that measure the movement of, this, of the swimmers. When the person is swimming, it can know that to what depth is swimming, it can detect if the person is drowning, or is it distressed, or is it safe. And as soon as it detects the drowning, there's a part of the device that pops up and come to the surface and send the signal to the lifeguards. And the reason for that is that there is no wireless communication for underwater. Therefore, we needed to make sure that that part of the device deploys and comes to the surface and send the signal. It needs to come to the surface. So the lifeguard would have a computer or tablet or their phones. They wouldn't see anything unless if there is a distress situation. So if there is a distress, they would see an alarm and a buzz on their monitor, and they see the locations, exact locations of the drowning person. There is no device that can measure the distress and send the signal back to the lifeguards. That's why we felt the need to build and, and develop such devices. Because it, in, in swimming, it's all about the time. Within a few seconds, the person dies, so everything needs to happen really, really fast. The size of the device right now is slightly larger than what it will be eventually. The next step for us is to miniaturize the device, make sure it's smaller, make sure it's, uh, it's more reliable. The full biological parameters that, that we use can be adjusted manually but by the users. That allows them to actually select the parameters correctly and get less false alarm, which is, which is really important. And we also equip the device with artificial intelligence to get a little bit of personalized data from every swimmer so that that adjusts the parameters in a more efficient way. Around the world, more than 250,000 people drown every year, so it's, it's a really, really big problem. There is potential to use this device in, in the community by lifeguards and also personalized device where they can buy it and use it personally. Parents can use it inside their home, in their swimming pools, or they can buy it and have a personal one. That's definitely um, it's something to have. Yes, absolutely, and that could be really um, save a lot of lives at, at homes when they have the swimming pools and to protect the kids. This is the future of, of water safety. It's probably the future for lifeguards at the beach as well, and it would probably change the way that every day they do their work and in a, in a more efficient way, in a more easier way, and a quicker.